welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Hanging out right now with Renata Riedemann, who's a popular electric violinist who's made a mark for herself with her enthralling performances and precise showmanship. She joins us this morning with a vast repertoire under her belt, from classical music through to current radio hits and music trends and so much more in between. And I personally have had the, inter uh, the privilege of interacting and performing with her on some of the stages that we've shared. It's, it's so good to see you and now in this solo capacity this is amazing congratulations thank on that thank you so much yeah thank you. so a lot of people might not know this about you but you, you're quite the perfectionist when it comes to your artistry i mean we talk about the fact that you graduated cum laude from the university of stellenbosch uh, distinguished uh, conservatoire um, uh -huh. majoring in violin performance yes. with distinction and you've since collaborated with the likes of Lyra, there's been the Bala brothers, uh, Shiano Sky. Been... <laughs> no, no, I'm, no, no, I'm not to be mentioned in that, in that <laughs> class of artists. But let's take it back to where the passion for music started for you. You know, I th it always sounds a bit cheesy when I say that, you know, the violin chose me, but it's really that. Yes. Because I was like six years old and I told my mom, please, please, I want to learn the violin. Really? And I think she just wanted to, like, give it time to see if it's just a phase. So she gave me a year and after a year I was still going like, Mama, I believe. Oh, wow. So then it started. And do you remember where you'd seen a violin for the first time and why it is that you were so in love with this instrument? You know, my mom usually played, like, FMR at home we only listen to classical music so yes. that's why it's weird for me to sing jazz the jazz genre because i wasn't exposed to it but yes it's yeah the love was always there oh it's yeah. a beautiful story and it's it's culminated in some incredible achievements uh you also are known to collaborate and perform with the resound string quartet and of course uh coda africa yes. uh, that we've yeah. shared the stage yes. with um any other collaborations that you are kind of itching to get out of the way that you somebody who, who you'd love to collaborate with out there in the music industry? Um, sure. You know, if, if I could actually raise someone from the dead, which I would never want to do. <laughs> well, these days you, you can know? with holographic performances. You yeah. can do that. Um, is someone like Eva Cassidy. Oh, I, yeah. I draw a lot of inspiration from her, the way that she sang or she took jazz standards and she just gave it her own spin. And it was all like clear, crystal clear. And s simplicity is the, is the thing that I... I think it's one of the most beautiful things. Yeah. Music and nature and in, in anything. It's just... And I guess it's a, a simplicity that is also perfected by many, many hours of sacrifice yes. in practice yeah. in order to achieve that level of comfort when you are either using your vocals as your instrument or in your case, a, a violin. What, what yeah. has it taken? Talk, talk to me about the sacrifice that it's taken because I think this could be a point of inspiration for a lot of young musicians out there, whether they play violin, piano, the saxophone, or they sing. What does it take to be at the level where you are? You know, there's a lot of people that start something like a string instrument yeah. and then they, like, in a year or two, they leave it. And I must say, through my whole career of this, there was a few times that I wanted just to put it away. Yeah. Because it's just, um, you know, you sacrifice stuff. But I mean, like, people in sport as well. You sacrifice your weekends, you sacrifice your evenings, you, you choose not to go out with friends, so you practice. And I think I made that switch when I was in, at university. Yeah. I decided, okay, I want to make this work and I want to, to do my best. So I, you know, I practiced a whole lot. Yeah. I don't do that anymore because the balance is out for me there. Yeah. I, I, I want to live a life still and do music and draw yeah. joy from it still. But you've already accumulated your 10,000 hours <laughs> Talk to me quickly about Saturday, the 9th of November yes. at Hermanus. What's happening there? So, I'm putting on a show with the lovely Sven Blumer that you will hear um, shortly on guitar and on vocals. So we are at Benguela Cove, beautiful estate. They celebrate art and culture and it's you've got wine, you've got the ocean, you've got the mountain. I think it's a perfect culmination. Beautiful music. As well. Yeah, and you can get your tickets at Compute Tickets. Fantastic. It's 250 Rand for adults mm -hmm. and then 100 Rand for kids between 4 and 12. We can't wait to get a little pre teaser yes. of that show. Thank you for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you so we much, much for having me. It. Make sure that you stay tuned for those performances coming your way right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show.